I just wanted to make a quick note on polynomial interpolation. You, you, uh, so I had a couple questions on the homework, and and this is something that uh, should be obvious, but um, but it's, uh, I mean, if you think about it, but if you don't think about it, then it can really catch you off guard. But if we have some data points, okay, and we have how many data points, and I don't know how many there are, but let's say we're going to interpolate, and let's say. Uh, the the value that we care about is um, okay. Let's see right here. Let's say the value we care about is 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 right here, um, and so we're we're gonna uh, come up and and we're gonna use whatever interpolation scheme we're gonna use, and we want to know the value at that point. Well, so this seems trivial, but the question is which points do we use? Well, we have to use the two the closest points to it. So if we're gonna do linear approximation, we use those two points and we do the linear approximation. Now, uh, what would happen if we didn't? Well, we, we, then we might be using these two points and be doing linear approximation and we'd be uh, perhaps further off. So you always use the point closest. Well, what if you're doing quadratic uh, approximation? If you're doing quadratic approximation, then you use uh, the, the three points. Uh, well, yeah, you use the three points that are closest. So uh, let's assume that this point is closer than this point, or if they're equal, then then you choose wh whichever one. There's no no set preference. You choose the three points then that are closest to do that uh, that interpolation because that's interpolation. It's got to go through all three points, and you don't you don't really care what happens out here because you're doing interpolation not regression. Regression would, would, would roll it all in. Or, or if we were doing a uh, spline interpolation, then it would be something different because you use all the points. But uh, if you don't use all the points, because you don't need all the points, then you have to always use the points that are closest to the point that you want to approximate. And so uh, on the homework problem, let's see which problem is it. I have it here. On the homework problem number um, Yeah, problem number five. It says calculate uh, Newton's interpolating polynomials. Choose a sequence of points. Choose a sequence of points for your estimates to attain the best possible accuracy. You need to make sure that when you do that, that you actually do what I what I'm suggesting here. Use the closest points uh, to the points that you that you uh, are interpolating on.